Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Rahul Kaul reporting from Global Bio India 2024 uh, being organized by Department of Biotechnology and BIRAC and uh, I'm standing here in front of uh, Prema's Biotech uh, and uh, with me is uh, Dr. Prabhuda Kundu, he's the Managing Director of Prema's Biotech India and uh, so it's a very pleasure meeting you. Thank you Rahul, always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I have, uh, you know, I'm, I'm coming up with very short questions and uh, I'm ex expecting, uh, you know, uh, brief answers to them. Uh, first to that, how has been Prema's doing in last five years in terms of collaborations? Uh, you know, most of your collaborations are global, yes. if, uh, if I'm correct. Uh, so, uh, so how has be these collaborations, you know, shaped the company over the period of last uh, five years? Uh, that's a very good question. Our collaborations have taught us a few things, especially in terms of regulatory markets how to bring developed products into them. For example, taking them from phase one to phase two to phase three. What are the regulatory requirements, documentation and so on and so forth. It has made us a lot wiser and it has made us a lot more confident now of helping other companies progress further. Right. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll start with again a broader perspective about Indian uh, biotechnology industry. How do you think that it has shaped up, uh, you know, with the uh, government policies and with the, you know, investors changing their outlook, uh, a broader perspective? Absolutely. When we started out about 20 years ago, I think you could practically count the number of protein companies on your fingers or your hand. Now, there's been an explosion of both medtech, biotech, life sciences, instrumentation, diagnostics. It seems as if the rising tide is lifting all the boats. And the government has played a fantastic role in creating incubators, initial risk capital, and giving a lot of guidance to some of these small companies. We do also work with a, a lot of startups globally, as well as in India, helping them navigate this valley of death, where they discover something and then taking it into either preclinical or clinical. Now, coming to the latest and perhaps the more futuristic outlook is, I think India is going to be a powerhouse with the new policy that's come in, with Bio E3 policy coming in from the government, I think it's going to really strengthen the base of what we will do in the next 10 years. Right. And uh, particularly on Bio E3 uh, you know, policy, there's, uh, there's too much thrust on biomanufacturing. So do you think you know, it will become a reality and uh, we are looking, we are targeting 3, 300 billion uh, US dollars you know, market. So uh, how realistic it is? You know, I, I want a very uh, you know, honest answer from yourself. You see, even five years ago, when a 150 million or 100 billion dollar target was kept, nobody one believed. We are at now 150 billion plus. So, somehow the com the country, in whichever way, has managed to exceed that target. I think we always should have targets which are aspirational, which means 300 billion. And I'm quite sure if we get three things: capital, uh, capacity, and build capability, we will be able to hit that. I don't think that's a big ask. Where we will need a lot of focus on as we implement these policies is making sure, as you rightly said, biomanufacturing. Because when you manufacture something, there's a far more greater profitability towards the end. And I'm sure with that, we will go forward. Right. Quite op optimistic, I would say. And, uh, you know, down the line in next five years, where do you see Prema's Biotech, uh, you know, placed? And uh, also, where do you see Indian biotechnology industry placed? Uh, if I look, I will answer it in reverse. I see there's going to be an explosion of companies in CGT. There will be companies in personalized medicine. And we will mature in new vaccine areas. I see these three core areas going to be very, very important for us, us as a country and to the globe. Where there will be significant contribution because of our diverse population. Now, if I come to what Premas will do. While we are really known for our proteins and uh, manufacturing, we have made a deep play into a technology of vaccines, the triple antigen VLP. So we think that's going to go far. Second, we have started collaborating with IGIB for CGT, sickle cell anemia through the CRISPR technology. And uh, I believe these will leave us into the next five years of significant growth. Pleasure speaking to you always. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Gundu. Thank you so much, Rahul. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Stay tuned for all the updates from BioWise News. Thank you.